Hi, hello everybody, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jamile. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Katia. All right, everybody, welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you, yo. I hope you're safe and sound. Espero que todos se encuentren bien de salud. Es un placer verlos en su clase de inglés. All right, so let's get started. Iniciemos ya. What do you do? All right, class officially number five. Do you remember? De ahora en adelante creo que en las próximas PPT les va a estar apareciendo unas preguntas al principio de la clase, que son las que usualmente I do before the class. Esas preguntas son las que usualmente yo hago antes de la clase para ver si nos recordamos de los temas anteriores. Porque a mí no me interesa solo que usted vaya llenando la plataforma y that's it. A mí me interesa saber si usted va recordando, va anotando y va aprendiendo. So let's check. Do you remember? Mention at least three vocabulary words related to furniture. Last class, we were practicing with furniture vocabulary, right? For example, um, let me check. For example, sofa, what else? Lamps. So let's see if you remember that vocabulary. Vamos a ver si ustedes recuerdan ese vocabulary a cada uno, como era un vocabulario vasto, ¿verdad? All right, habían bastantes. Let's see if you remember some of them. Let's start with Dennis Madrid. Dennis, dígame tres de las palabras que usted aprendió. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Uh, okay. Um, microwave. Ah, microwave, uh -huh. microwave, 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 refrigerator, 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 and sofa. Sofa, very good, excellent, Mr. Madrid. That's correct. Let's listen to Fernando. Tell me another three. Dígame otras tres, Fernando. Yo sé que usted recuerda. Good evening. Good evening. It's so far. Uh-huh. Uh, armchairs. Armchairs. Uh-huh. And mirror. Mirror. Excellent. Very good, sir. Thank you. Let's listen to Cesar Ponce. Uh -huh, Cesar. Tell me key vocabulary words related to furniture. Okay, curtains. Uh -huh. curtains. Pictures. Uh -huh. Lamps. Lamps, excellent. Me gusta que se atreve a decir nuevo vocabulary, excellent. Very good. What about you, Jamilez? Let's see if you remember. A coffee of table. Coffee table, uh-huh. Chairs. Chairs, uh-huh. Curtains. Curtains. Very good. Curtains. Excellent. Thank you, Jamile. That's correct. What about you, Katia? Dígame otra que no sea curtains y que no sea sofa, please. Otras tres. Elevator. Uh, the furniture. Furniture es uh -huh. como mobiliaria. Todo lo que tenemos en la casa, básicamente. Right. Uh -huh. Muebles. Uh -huh. Picture. No, ah, no, perdón, perdón. perdón. <risa> sí, aparecía eh, en el vocabulario. Ajá, este. Mm, lamps, table. Uh -huh. eh, solo me acuerdo de, eh, de, de la última palabrita que es stop. Stop. Ah, stop, ajá. Stop. Very good. Eh, y chairs. Chairs. Ok, very good. Me gusta porque mencionó chairs y solo me habían mencionado armchairs. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, girl. Now, let's check. Teacher, ¿por qué tenemos que retomar ese vocabulary? Please remember, keep in mind. Recuerden y mantengan eso en su mente, ¿verdad? Right? No tómenlo en cuenta. El vocabulary que usted aprende no es para que ya 
una vez ya dije el vocabulary y se me olvida. No, porque lo va a utilizar en el tiempo gramatical que estamos viendo. Which is simple present. El tiempo gramatical es el presente simple. All right. So let's check. Tengo una guiding example for you. Un ejemplo guía para ustedes. So it says, my living room has a sofa, a television, and a bookcase. Ustedes ya aprendieron las partes de la casa, right? Como bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, uh, elevator, lobby, garage. Bye. Ya conocen las partes de una casa en in inglés. Ahora ya conocen las cosas que se incorporan adentro de una casa, right? En cada una de esas partes. What are you going to do next? Fíjense bien en esta sentence. ¿De qué parte de la casa estoy hablando en esta oración, Yamile? De la sala. Uh -huh. Living room. Excellent. Thank you. ¿Y qué furniture? ¿De qué furniture estoy hablando, Fernando? Sofa, television, and bookcase. Excellent. Very good. There you go. Así me gusta. Que separen las cosas. Now let's check. Practice time. Let me hear you. Uh, Dennis Madrid, por favor, léame las instructions. Number one, two. Okay. Number one, number one, four, individual. Number two, create and list two sentences similar to the giving example. Okay, repeat after me, guiding example. Guiding example. Excellent, thank you, sir. Very good, All right? Dos oraciones similares a esto que ustedes ya vieron, right? Only two. Pueden ser chiquitas o largas. You decide, right? O sea, tienen que ser solo de living, like, living room. No, no. Por eso les dije, pueden utilizar cualquier parte de la casa que ustedes deseen. Oh, okay. E incorporar el vocabulary de furniture que aprendieron. Por ejemplo, un bookcase también puede estar en un bedroom, right? En un cuarto puede haber un bookcase. Remember, you gotta do those sentences on your notebook. Recuerden, todos tienen que tener su cuaderno de anotaciones para que puedan trabajar las sentences. O si usted sabe utilizar micro, eh, Microsoft Word, puede trabajar en Word también que después van a pasar a decirme esas sentences.
Uh -huh. Have you finished or you need more time? Finish. Okay, excellent, Mr. Ponce. Finish. Excellent, Fernando. Somebody else? Alguien más que ya finalizó? Hi. Okay, excellent. So you're very good. Vamos a iniciar con César Ponce. Read your sentences, please. Okay. My kitchen has a stove, a microwave oven, and refrigerator. Three. My bedroom has a bed, a clock, a picture, a lamp, and coins. Ah, it has only one lamp or more than one? Uh, lamps. Lamps. Okay, so it has lamps. No le ponga la. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Excellent. Very good job, Mr. Ponce. Thank you. Let's check. Fernando, después de Fernando, Zulma. Okay, my bedroom has a closet, television, and a mirror. Mm -hmm. my, my kitchen has a refri refrigerator and a stove. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Fernando. Very good. Well created. Excellent. Let's go with Zulma. Um, my living, my living be bedroom has bed, television, sofa, table, and I. Mm -hmm. In my living house has garden, room, chicken, bedroom, and bathroom. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, now let me mm -hmm. just a las dos sentences, a las dos oraciones, quítele el living porque no va ahí. El living solo okay. va para cuando es living room. Ah, ok. De ahí, quítele Thank eso you. y de ahí todo lo demás es perfect. Muy bien. Ok. Thank you. Ok, another one. ¿Alguien más antes de que yo empiece a escoger los que van a pasar? Oh. Uh -huh. Let me hear you, Jamie. Baby girl room has rocking chairs. Grab and changing table. My living room has a table, chair, and high chair. My my dining room. My dining room. Yes. Excellent. Very good, Jamile. Excellent. Great. What about roof? Yep. Okay. My room has one table, bed, desk, and one mirror. Uh -huh. Mirror. Yes. Only one cent. Solo una oración y su Katia. Sí. Okay. okay. Very good. One is it's better than nothing. Excellent. Thank you. Sí está muy organizada su sentence, Katia. Excellent. All right. Solo lo que me puede cambiar ahí es la pronunciación de has. Porque por ahí le escuché as y tiene que ser has. Has. Has, exactly. Very good. Now, let me see Dennis. Madrid, después de Dennis, eh, Ruth Villalta. Okay. Number one. My car has two cars. Mm -hmm. Number two, my house has only flow. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Very good. Yes, very creative, actually. Thank you. Let's go with Miss Villalta. My bedroom has a lamp, mm -hmm. a bed, and nightstand. Uh -huh. My kitchen has a refrigerator, a stove, and microwave. Okay, repeat after me, Ruth. Jet. I see jet. Jet. Refrige. Refrige. Rator. Rator. Uh -huh. Ahora todo junto, refrigerator. Refrigerator. Okay, ready. Refrige. Okay, practique mucho eso, right? Ya ahí con usted solita. Refrigerator. Okay. 
Very good, excellent, thank you, great. Very well created your sentences. Excellent oraciones, Ruth. Now, let me check, am I missing somebody? Bye. What about Ricardo? Hello, Ricardo, this is your first class, right? Creo que esta es su primera clase, Ricardo. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, this is my first class. Okay, very good. Uh, do you have your sentences or you want to skip the activity? Yeah, I have two sentences. Okay, let me hear you then. My garage has a bicycle mm -hmm. and a car damage. Great. My, my dinner room has a microwave and a little refrigerator. Okay, very good. It's a really small one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Excellent, sir. Thank you. And we'll come back to the class. Thank you. Welcome. Now let's check there is and there are. You have practice already with the use of furniture, right? The vocabulary, of course, and the vocabulary of parts of the house. Now let's check there is and there are. There's a sofa in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. Let me just check my. Solo voy a sacar el puntero por aquí. Spotlight. Okay. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. All right. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. Then you have this, there's equals there is. Este there's es la contraction del there is. Cuando usted quiere hacer una oración con there is, pero en negativo, usted puede utilizar isn't, que es el is más el negative n apostrophe t. En vez de que ponga la o, solo pone la n apostrophe t apostrophe y la T, right? Apostrophe T. Let's see. That's all you need. Now, let's listen to, vamos a escuchar a Daniel López, please. Let's practice. Usted va a ser la first column, la primera columna, y César Ponce, usted va a ser la segunda columna. Cuando Dani termine la primera sentence, César Ponce, usted inicia la sentence que está a la par, y así hasta que lleguemos a la última, ¿ok? Action. Okay. There, there's a bed in the bedroom. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There are no chairs in the living room. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There aren't any chairs in the living room. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. Thank you. Now let's have Katia Cruz, the first column. Usted la primera columna, Katia. Ricardo Omar, the second column, please. La segunda columna. Así, la misma dinámica. First one and then the other one. Action. There's bed in the bedroom. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There are no chairs in the living room. There is not a table in the chicken. There aren't any chairs in the living room. All right, excellent, thank you. Good fluency, Katia, repeat after me, kitchen. Kitchen. Excellent, very good. Dije chicken. <laughs> Me pasa, usted tranquila. <laughs> All right, very good, excellent. Thank you. Now, you're welcome, sir. Now let's go with the last pair to practice with this information. Let's have Jacqueline Benitez. You are the first column. Usted sería la primera columna. Jamilet Portillo, usted sería la second column. Action. Okay. There's a bed in the bedroom. There are some kitchen chairs in the kitchen. In there's there's no sofa in the bedroom. 
There are no chairs in the living room. There isn't a tablet in the kitchen. There aren't any chairs in the living room. Great, excellent. Thank you, girls. Jacqueline, repeat after me. Table. Table. Mm -hmm. Ah, table. <laughs> There you go. It happens. Está tranquila, suele pasar, all right? Very good. Good thing is that you learn from that. Now, let's check. Um, let's see the following structures. Veamos las, próximas, las siguientes estructuras. For singular objects, you've got this structure. Les recomiendo, once again, que la copien, all right? Si tienen computer y ahí van tomando notas, great job. Si no, un cuadernito, una libretita, algo que usted sepa que Puede ver en cualquier momento que lo necesite. So let's check. The structure is there, there plus is or isn't plus a uh, or no plus complement. All right? You are going to use there is plus a uh, plus complement or if you have something negative to say, you are going to use there isn't Ya no va a hacer falta que utilice aquí el no, porque ya tiene el isn't, right? Y de ahí el complement. Solo esto se los puse así porque así aparece en la plataforma, la structure, right? Pero usted ya sabe que si tiene el isn't, no va a volver a poner el not, right? O el no. Then, esto es para singular specifically, right? Específicamente para lo singular, cuando usted solo quiere hablar de un object, right? What if we want to... Talk about two or three objects or more than one object. For plural objects, you use the following structure. There plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus complement. All right. You are able to, to create your examples as that way. Para eso tiene estas structures que les aparecen a ustedes ahí en la platform. ¿Ok? Let me know when you finish copying the structures. Me avisan cuando terminen de copiar las estructuras. Y vayan cuidadosamente copiándolas, no vaya a ser que se coman un is o un isn't, o el apóstrofe, porque a veces me hacen sentencias sin el apóstrofe. The structure might seem a little bit different, different or difficult from what it is actually, all right? La estructura, por tantas cosas que, que tiene, puede parecerle un poco difícil, but it's not. Ustedes ya vieron con los ejemplos anteriores que en realidad es sencillo, como decir, hay una mesa o no hay una mesa. Hay, hay unos platos o no hay platos, all right? Simple as that. So the structure is made as this way, just for you to have something to follow. La estructura se les pone así para que usted sepa que se puede utilizar con distintos recursos, la structure, right? Recursos gramaticales. So, have you finished taking notes from the structure? ¿Terminamos de tomar nota? Yes. La estructura? Yes. All right. Let's move on to the following. Reading, two special houses. Algo que me encanta de estos readings es que usted no solo practica su pronunciation, sino que practica su reading y su listening. ¿Por qué? ¿Por ¿Cómo practicamos el listening, teacher? Bueno, ustedes cuando lo hacen en la platform, ustedes están practicando su listening, que es escuchar, right? Su audio. Pero 
también cuando están aquí en la clase y escuchan cómo leen sus compañeros, también ahí están practicando su listening. Porque ustedes, poniendo atención, escuchan si está cometiendo algún error al hablar o si lo está diciendo todo bien. Inclusive ustedes lo toman como ejemplo para leer. So let's check. Let me make this bigger. Lo voy a hacer un poquito más grande para que ustedes puedan leer. ¿Cuál es para que ustedes puedan leerlo? Para poder leerlo yo porque no tengo mis lentes. <ríe> ok. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Neros is a Mexican-American writer. She's famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are, there are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Neros's, Mrs. Neros's, ¿quién es a esta? Esta esta la pronunciamos. Mrs. Neros's house, are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Neros loves it, all right? Su casa es púrpura, all right? Es diferente a todas las demás casas que hay en esa zona, en San Antonio, Texas, porque es colorida. Entonces a la gente le parece como mm, too much. Mucho, ¿verdad? Para donde estamos, quizás, la región donde estamos. But she loves it, and that's what matters. Pero a ella le fascina y eso es lo que importa. So let's check. Who's gonna be my victim? <laughs> no, aquí no tenemos víctimas. Let me check. Um, do I have a volunteer? ¿Tengo algún voluntario que quiera practicar su reading o school? Okay, Fernando, action. In San Antonio, Texas. There is a pur purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisnero. Mrs. Cisnero is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for interesting stories. The house has a, has a porch with a pink floor. The room are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near. Mrs. Nero's house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbor thinks her house is so colorful, but Mrs. Nero loves it. Excellent. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you so much for your effort. Great. Repeat after me. Purple. Purple. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Como si tuviera okay. al final. P-O-L, purple. Ok, y la siguiente palabra es escribir o escritora. Writer, escritora. Ajá. Writer. Writer. Como, ajá, writer. Writer. Ajá, ok. Exactly, yes, very good. Otra, let me check, let me check. Mm, ok, those are the, like, the most... That are the ones that I was able to notice. Let's go with Ricardo Mar. Thank you, Fernando. Great job. Ricardo Mar, después de Ricardo, iría Daniel Cermeño. Action, sir. Your microphone. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Miss Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She's famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Miss Cisneros house are white or beige. So, her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Neros loves it. Excellent. Thank you. Very good intonation and fluency. Just okay. repeat after me. Interesting. Interesting. That's correct. That's it. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Y me gustó como pronuncia esta palabra, paintings. All right. Very good. Right. Okay. Let's go with Daniel Cermeño, please. 
in San Antonio, Texas. There is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is, is a Mexican American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Nero's. Houses are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbor dig her house in too colorful, but Mrs. Nero's love it. Excellent, very good, Mr. Cermeño. Buena secuencia de palabras respetando todos los symbols. Great. Just repeat after me. Solo repite después de mí. She is famous. She is famous. Uh -huh. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, okay. Ahí se puede quedar usted después solo practicando esas dos palabras porque todo lo demás, great. Okay, voy a pasar al siguiente reading y a Jacqueline va a ser la primera que voy a poner a leer con el siguiente reading, ok? Y después a Daniel López porque vi que también levantó la mano. Fernando, do you have a question? Eh, sí, solo hacer así la consulta cuando una, una vocal tiene el, el sonido en inglés y cuando no cambia. Mm, eso ya son otras reglas gramaticales, Fernando, right? Porque hay muchísimas, right? So, voy a ver, voy a consultar si puedo ponerles un poquito de ese material para la next class. Porque sí es bastante vasto ese, ese tipo de material, Fernando, para explicar. All right. Pero okay. creo que sería muy conveniente que ustedes lo sepan. De hecho, uh, se me había olvidado decirles que yo, si ustedes se fijan en la plataforma, eh, tiene muy buen material, all right? There's no way to deny it. No hay manera de negarlo. Tiene muy buen material para practicar y todo. Pero eh, hay bastantes estructuras y eso es súper genial que ustedes las conozcan. Pero también quiero que conozcan cuando... Un ustedes ya saben que para la third person singular el verbo cambia, right? Pero cuando es que cambia eh, literalmente la Y, por ejemplo, right? Cuando cambia por IES. Entonces todas esas cositas quiero irse las mostrando también, pero eso viene hasta el final del curso, básicamente, cuando ya hayamos trabajado todo lo de la plataforma. Ahí, en la última clase, me queda como para reforzarles más esos temas a ustedes. ¿Ok? Entonces, de ahí nos vamos a tomar. Y voy a tomar esa sugerencia de Fernando también, que quiere saber cuándo es que se le pronuncia. So, let's check. Vamos ahorita con este reading. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Repito esta frase. Native American tribes. Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes. Traditional Native American homes. Note, no dije native, native, native. Called hogans. No es hogans, porque la H sí suena en inglés, es hogans. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Right? So it's pretty cool, that one. Está bien genial eso de los Hogans. So let's check. Vamos a iniciar con Jacqueline y después Daniel López. Action, Jacqueline. Ok, tiene palabras más difíciles. No se preocupe, yo le ayudo. Bueno. Every year, every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about native, 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 uh, native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels. But some people stay in tradi traditional, traditional, traditional native mm -hmm. American homes. 
called? Call, call Hogan's. Mm -hmm. Lorraine, no. Lorraine, Lorraine Nelson. Uh, Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites invites visitors. In, uh, invite visitors to stay in the her Hogan's. It has three chairs mm -hmm. to bed on the floor and a good burning good burning, good burning store. Mm -hmm. es, es con V, es que se ve borroso. Sí, es, sí, yo también así, por eso leo. <laughs> que también sé que uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Vaya, repite después de mí. Miss Nelson wood burning stop. Burn burning stop. Mm -hmm. Miss Nelson teaches. Teacher her get about na native native American native uh, about native American traditions. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good job, Miss Benitez. Excellent. Uh -huh. Very good. Así me gusta que se esfuercen y lo logran. Ya ven, lo logran. Porque sí, tiene vocabulary bien rebuscado, por así decirlo, right? Y tiene compound nouns, eh, sustantivos compuestos, básicamente, como el wood burning stuff, right? Wood burning. Now, let's go with Daniel López, please. Okay. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in Horos, but some people stay in the traditional Native American homes, called Hogan. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invite, invited visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs to bed on the floor and a wood burning stove. Mrs. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American tradition. Great, excellent, Mr. Lopez. Great job, very good. Now, mm. let me check. You're welcome, sir. Let me check. Let's go with Cesar Ponce, please. You are the last one. Usted no movemos después, Cesar. Okay. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most, most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional. Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in the Hogan. It has three chairs to bed on the floor and a good burning stove. Miss Nelson teacher has read about Native American tradition. Great. Repeat after me, Mr. Ponce. Um, visitors. Visitors. Uh -huh. Invites visitors. Visitors. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Y la otra, guests. Guests. Excellent. Very good. Guests. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Now, les pregunto a ustedes. Queridos participantes, ¿qué es un wood burning stuff? No, no la glue. A ver, wood es, es madera, ¿all right? Stuff es cocina. Entonces, ¿qué puede ser? Una cocina, cocina de leña. leña. Yes, that's correct, Fernando. Cocina de leña, right? Wood burning stuff. Burning porque pues la leña se se va desapareciendo o cargomiendo, no sé cómo le decimos cuando ya le entra el fuego, right? Y eso hace que se genere la palabra burning. Y esto porque es una cocina. So there you go. Very good. Excellent. Thank you all. Now let's get, let's get started with the third section. Ya, arrancamos con la tercera sección. Jobs, vocabulary and activities. Vamos a tener mucho vocabulary. Todos van a participar. Porque en la parte de vocabulary, ustedes saben que para mí es súper importante que todos lleven esa practice. 
So we have a cashier. Voy a sacar el puntero por aquí. El spotlight. Okay, we have cashier, cook or chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, judge, lawyer. No es lawyer, no, lawyer, lawyer, musician, musician, nurse, nurse. Bajo ninguna circunstancia es nurse. No, 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 es nurse. Nurse, pilot, pilot, police officer, police officer, receptionist, receptionist, salesperson, salesperson, security guard, security guard, no es guard, no. I, básicamente en su mente usted elimina la U y solo dice guard. Security guard. Singer. Singer. Writer. Writer. Ah, no, este es waiter, perdón. Waiter. Waitress. Waitress. Waiter es mesero y waitress es camarera. All right. Yo sé, les puede surgir teacher y por qué no se dice un solo lo mismo. That's, that's how English works. A veces tenemos, así es como funciona el inglés. A veces tenemos una manera de decir algo y a veces cambia. Pueden ser hasta tres o cuatro maneras diferentes de decir algo. Right? Especially when it's gender involved. Especialmente cuando está el género incluido. So let's get started. Vamos a pedirle a Zulma. Where are you, Zulma? Ahí está. Ok, Zulma. Eh, inicie desde cashier hasta waitress. Si hay alguna que usted sienta que le cuesta, avíseme con tiempo. Cashier, cook or chef, doctor, flight attendant, ju, 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 judge, judge, mm -hmm. lawyer, li, lawyer, lawyer, Musi, lawyer, uh -huh. musician, nurse, musician. Musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, reception, sales person, security guard, sangler, white, white, white tracks. Okay, repeat after me. Security guard. Security guard. La U no se pronuncia, solo es guard. Security guard. Okay, la uno se pronuncia. There you go. Let's try to practice that. Very good, Zulma. Thank you. Excellent job. <laughs> Let's go with, vamos con el siguiente, que sería Ruth Villalta, please. Desde la A. Yes, from A to P. Cashier, cook, chef, doctor, flight attendant, and judge, judge, mm -hmm. lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, recep receptionist, receptionist, salesperson, salesperson. Sales person, mm -hmm. security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. Waitress. Yes, excellent. Thank you so much, Miss Vialta. Thank you. Now, let me check. Let's have. Vamos a tener a Ricardo Omar. Después de Ricardo Fernando. Action. Okay. Cashier, cook, chef. Doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with Fernando. Después de Fernando va Daniel Cermeño. 
action. Cashier. Go Cashier. 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 Go mm -hmm. chief. Doctor. Flight attendant. Josh. Lawyer. Musician. Nurse. Pilot. Police officer. Receptionist. Salesperson. Security guard. Singer. Waiter. Waitress. Okay, repeat after me. Singer. Singer. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. That's correct. Thank you, Fernando. Let's go with Mr. Cermeño, please. Después de Daniel Cermeño, va Katia. Cashier. Cook. Chef. Doctor. Fly attendant. Judge. Lawyer. Music. No. ¿cómo Musician. Se Musician. Mm -hmm. Nurse. Pilot. Police officer, receptionist, 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 mm -hmm. sideless person, security one, singer, waiter, waitress. Excellent. Repeat after me. Guard. Guard. Security Excellent. guard. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Sermeño. Let's go with Katia. Cashier, cook, chef. Doctor, fly at, attendant, George, lawyer, 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 music, motion, musician, musician, nurse, pilot, police office, pilot? reception, poly, pilot, no, pilot, la I, pilot, uh, pilot, police, reception, officer. police. Police, officer, officer, mm -hmm. receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, 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 y waitress. Waitress, excellent. Wait. Thank you, Katia. Very good for your effort. Now let me have Daniel Lopez. Después de Daniel Lopez, eh, Dennis Madrid. Action. Cashier, cook or chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Now, let's Thanks. go with... Denis Madrid, please. Cash chair, food chef, doctor, flight attendant, Jewish, lawyer, judge, lawyer, musician, musician, nurse, nurse, pilot, police officer. Session. Salesperson. Salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Very good job. So let's just recap some of the vocabulary. Vamos a recordar algunas palabras, all right? Aquí, y esto es para todos porque I didn't notice that specifically in one, just some of us we say that salesperson. Esto no se lee salesperson, es salesperson. Salesperson. Hay palabras, por ejemplo, just for you to have an example. Solo para ponerles un ejemplo. En esta palabra se puede, donde ven aquí, paintings. Podemos decir paintings o podemos decir paintings. And that's not a problem. La única diferencia es que paintings es en American English and paintings is in British English, right? Lo mismo sucede con algunos números, la pronunciation de algunos números. Hay personas que dicen 20, que es el inglés americano, y hay personas que dicen 20, y no hay ningún problema, right? Solo que recuerden que el que ustedes están aprendiendo es el American English, right? No es el British English. Pero no se, no se le juzgue si usted dice paintings o paintings. No a problem. That's not a problem. Con este vocabulary, Hasta ahorita la mayoría lo han trabajado bien. Solo 
eh, pueden levantarme la mano virtual, please, los que me faltan de pronunciar el vocabulary, y si no me muevo a la siguiente slide. Ok, César, action, please. Ok. Cashier, cook, or chef, doctor, fly, attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. That's correct. Excellent, sir. Thank you so much. <clears throat> now, let's check to the next one. Vaya, este es el mismo vocabulary, solo que aquí estaban las images, and that's it. Una palabra, la F, la que está aquí, lawyer. Tenemos que, tener, tenemos que ser cuidadosos al pronunciarla porque si no podemos confundirlo con layer, right? Que significa capas, capa, ¿ok? Este es lawyer, lawyer, right? Now, let's check to the next one. Cada professional o cada job, right? Cada trabajo, cada persona que ejerce un trabajo hace activities. Y también tiene los lugares a donde ejerce esas activities. Just for you to have some examples, we have this slide. Solo para que ustedes tengan algunos ejemplos, tenemos esta lámina. Places. Recuerden esto porque esto se lo voy a preguntar de seguro toda la semana. Right? Porque no quiero que se les olvide. Places. We have in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Repito, in a hotel, in a store, in an office, in a hospital. Si pueden tomar nota, do it. Si no, pues, revisan después la PowerPoint presentation. Activities. Wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. All right, ¿hay alguna de estas palabras que usted se pregunte qué significa? Check them out. Chequela bien, léala, si todo lo maneja, good. Si no, pregunte, no hay ningún problema. Ok, Fernando, tell me. Sería sit. Ah, sits all day. Pasa sentado todo el día, Fernando, All right? Una persona que quizás trabaja en un call center o en un banco que pasan sentados. Ajá, Ricardo. Your microphone. Handles money. Exactly, esa quería que me preguntaran. Handles money es una persona que maneja dinero, All right? Handles es manejar y ustedes pueden utilizarlo, ese verbo, Puedo utilizarlo con cualquier cosa, right? I handle my life, manejo mi vida. I handle money, manejo dinero, right? Solo que I, no es manejar de... Ajá, uh, yeah. I handle, I handle my car. Ajá, no, <laughs> eso no. Ajá, exactly. I drive my car. I drive my car, exactly. Handles es para más... Por ejemplo, si alguien le dice, ay, no vas a aguantar hacer eso todo el día. I can handle it, right? Yo puedo con eso. All right. Okay. En este caso es manejar dinero. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más que tenga dudas en una palabra? Standard all day. Ah, stands all day. Pasa parado todo el día. ¿Dónde está? Aquí está. Stands all day. Pasa parado todo el día. All right? O está de pie todo el día. We, wears or wears. Rights. Rights tickets. Uh, Rights tickets. Um, la persona que chequea tickets, a veces antes de entrar a un avión hay alguien que le está chequeando como el, el, how do you say this? el vuelo o cuando ustedes van a entrar a un cine hay una persona que les está chequeando eso, a eso, right tickets, All right, that's it, ok, let me have, vamos a iniciar, eh, Jamilet, please, Tell me the places. Dígame los lugares. En César Ponce me va a decir las actividades. Action. 
place, in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Great. Jamile, place or places? Places. Place. Places. Tenemos una S, Jamile, la utilizamos. Places. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Action, Cesar, activities. Activities. Wears a uniform, sit all day, talk, talks to people, work hard, stand all day, handle money, work at night, he write tickets. Excellent. Thank you, sir. All right, everybody, listen up. We're just about to finish the class. Ya para ir cerrando la clase, solo quiero hacerle ver algo. Mañana vamos a terminar de trabajar esto, van a practicar, all right? Porque ya saben que mi clase siempre practican. Pero quiero verles, please, que ya saben ustedes que la section one and two tienen que estar terminada. Ya tu tuvieron que haberla terminado el viernes. Y ahorita que estamos trabajando con la tres, usted puede iniciar a trabajar ya con la tres y avanzar si usted lo desea, all right? So that's pretty much it for today's class. Eso es básicamente la clase de este día. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, bye. 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 Take care. Bye. 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 Good night. You too. <laughs>